Hey everybody, welcome to Lessons with Troy. Well, today I wanted to show you a lick where I'm gonna be doing a string pull as well as using the benders. Now, uh, this is inspired by the videos I see of Luke Cyrus Skates that he also plays a Duesenberg using the benders. And I'll see him push his second string bender down and he'll do a string pull behind the bar. Sounds like this. And if you wanted to do that with your, with your, you know, just with the bar, it'd sound like this. Right? Where you're doing that quick kind of uh, triplet thing with your, uh, with your, but now you're doing it still with a, a slide like that. You're doing it with a string pull. Now, all you got to do to do the string pull is just keep your hand, keep your bar on all the strings like this, right? And you're going to move your ring finger to where you're able to pull your second string back like that. So you just kind of pull it, pull it that way, right? Pull it towards the bass strings like that. Now all you're doing when you do this is that string pull is going to bend the string an additional half step. So whereas the, the bender brings that fifth of the chord up to the sixth, the additional string pull is going to pull that up to a flat, the flat seven of the chord. Right? And so you're doing a double stop with your index and middle on, on your first and second string. And as soon as you do that, you push down on that second string bender. So that's the first part of the lick. And then while that's ringing out, move your ring finger to that second string and you're going to pull it bend it up and let it go and then let the bender off like this slowly just like that and, it, and it up to tempo would be like and with using the slide if you use how it sounds with the bar with the bar doing the slide once again sounds like this that, that, that quick little triplet thing that's what we're doing, but we're doing that all with benders and the string pull. Real slow, once again. Hold on. Now, the other thing I just noticed is don't let your ring finger off of the strings back behind your bar, especially if you're on your 12th fret, until after you do the bend, because you'll get the sound you'll get the sound behind the bar happening, right? You get those strings. So make sure your ring finger's still on those strings back behind your bar, and you're gonna go. And now take your ring finger off, do a pull, pull, let it off, and then let off the bender. Sounds like this once again. Now, an additional thing you can do to add add on to this is if you keep that third string bender down the whole time that you do that you're going to resolve it to this right to that chord which that's going to be a d chord same as d chord up here in our 12th fret but so you add all that together and i would just suggest just to keep your uh keep that third string bender down because you're going to come back as a pedal tone to that third string later sounds like this Let's see if i can smooth that out there we go okay so it's just a little kind of fun lick you can add to that keep in mind what i said before is it's gonna make that chord into a flat seven like a oh, let me just do it brings that, that six up to the flat seven just that little half step bend there string pull okay hope you enjoyed that and uh make sure to subscribe to uh my YouTube channel for more lessons and check out lwtstreaming.com for all my lessons with the printable tabs and jam tracks and all that. Okay, guys, we'll see you on the next lesson. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye.